Hi everyone, welcome back. I just wanted to do a follow-up video to my motors and medical equipment video because I ran into this very interesting little specimen right here. This is just a regular irrigation pump, or so I thought. At first glance, you would assume that this is just a regular DC motor. That's a control circuit which probably monitors things like these switches and it just turns it on and off. And this is a power supply. But when you look at it a little closer, you can see that the power supply is missing a whole bunch of components. I got to thinking, I don't see a bridge rectifier on there. What is going on with this device? You can clearly see that this motor runs off at of 24 volts DC. So what is going on with this power supply? And upon further examination, you'll see that right here, is the bridge rectifier on this little daughter card, the separate card off to the side. So I was thinking, what is actually going on here? So the AC comes in down here, goes through the power switch, and then into the power supply. But this is not a DC power supply. You can see right down here, it says L pin, N pin, this is actually a 24 volt AC power supply. So it kicks out 24 volts AC to this card. And this card will turn on and off with the controller card, which is that guy right there. So the AC comes in, gets converted to DC. A little bit of it goes back over to your controller card to power it and to control the switching. You can see here is evidence of your DC bus. This is a large smoothing capacitor. This guy right down here, you can actually see it. It's on thermal pad. That must be your transistor which creates your pulse width modulation of your 24 volts DC. And what these guys do is these control your speed. You can see right there, max speed, torque limit, minimum speed. So it's a very interesting specimen because it doesn't just have 24 volts coming into it and it turns it on and off. No, it's controlled by pulse width modulation. So even though this motor here goes into a gear reduction, a planetary gear set, you can see it right here. It's 5.9 to 1 ratio. So that's already a pretty steep reduction. But they can also slow it even further by using pulse width modulation. And that's how they can control the calibration of your output on this peristaltic pump. Here, I'll turn it on for you guys so you can see what it does. Okay, it's on. You'll see right here, there's a switch monitoring to see when this guy right here is closed. As soon as it's closed, you can see that the motor's spinning right there. And when I open it, it stops. This little spot right here is so that you can put a contact tachometer on there. And you can calibrate right here you can calibrate the speed of the pump, which gives you your flow output. If you guys liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try and bring you some interesting breakdowns like this of various types of medical equipment, especially when I see cool little things like this. Thanks for watching, guys.